Alright, alright guys, so here we go. You're gonna be able to see right there. First of all, uh, you can see that uh, Hollowberry as well as the Profit Cookie turned into Acorns and on top of that, placed that extra 10% uh, defense reduction onto them, alright? Alright guys, so with the latest update, we actually got a new special treasure from the Squirrel Shop and that is going to be no other than the Blossoming Acorn Bomb which is going to turn two random enemies into acorns and they can't do anything, all right? And on top of that, they do actually take some extra damage and they also are going to be applying 10%, all right? 10% defense reduction at level one. And sadly right now, I only got to pull one copy of this special treasure. Uh, like you guys see right over here, this acorn uh, snowball is actually only level three from the previous winter scroll shop. So hopefully I'm able to pull a little bit more of this, but right now, this treasure is honestly not as bad as the previous one, which is going to shrink one of our cookies and add some damage resist and stuff like that. But let me go into the world exploration, test it out, and show you guys how it actually works, and also jump into the arena and play within the Grandmaster 3 slash 2 area and show you guys how this level 1 treasure, okay, level 1 special treasure actually works out all right guys so here we go we're gonna go into 16-28 because we don't want the enemies to completely die right away uh, but we're gonna use this level one special treasure the blossomy acorn bomb and let me show you guys these enemies turning into acorns and here we go guys we are gonna go into uh this world exploration stage and you're gonna see right here these uh, guys are gonna turn into acorns and boom you're gonna be able to see that the defense reduction is applied to those enemies and on uh, because of that, we're actually able to take advantage of uh, the extra, you know, debuff that Space Donut is able to do to cookies or enemies uh, that have extra already uh, defense reduction. So you can see right there, defense down, and boom, we're just going to use our skills onto them and uh, turn them into Donut as well. And you can see that one good perk about this is that this thing only takes 10 seconds. For you to use again all right and it's a two second charge which means that as soon as you get into the uh, world exploration stage you're most likely going to be able to use the treasures effect of course i don't really recommend it for world exploration just because of the fact that you could be using something else that's way better something like the whistle or uh, something like the scroll overall uh, because you know you're just able to get way more damage output uh but I mean, it's not a bad treasure, right? It's not something that is completely useless compared to, I would say, the other special treasure, which is going to be turning one of your uh, cookie with the lowest current HP into a smaller version with, uh, you know, some extra uh, damage resist and crit resist. I, I feel like this one is not really that great. But guys, I told you guys that this treasure is not bad. And the reason why I say it's not bad is because of the fact that it can actually kind of work inside of the arena right now. And it is going to be in a team like this. Of course, all right, I don't ever recommend you guys to use this treasure. But because of the fact that we do still have to do a review and just to show that it is not a bad, bad, bad treasure at all. We're going to use it for this particular comp using the whistle as well as the blossoming acorn bomb and the jelly watch with the capsaicin standard team that we have with stardust and moonlight here so these are going to be topping real quick five star chocolate five serum raspberry five of the juicy apple jelly five solid almond and three swift chocolate two solid almond and we're going to use the level one treasure and verse once again uh teams that are going to be within the grandmaster three stash two area right now inside of the pure vanilla server all right guys so here we go this is going to be a single tank cop it seems like uh, they have bts as well uh, but we're going to use the acorn bomb here and uh, you're going to be able to see some random enemies turn into acorns in middle of the battle. And all right, guys, so here we go. You're going to be able to see right there. First of all, uh, you can see that uh, Hollowberry as well as the profit cookie turned into acorns. And on top of that, placed that extra 10% uh, defense reduction onto them. All right. And you can see right there, Moonlight actually turned into the acorn. So one thing that I am not 100% sure about yet is that whether when they're turned into an acorn, if their cooldown is going to actually, you know, decrease or not. But you can see right there, Profit and Moonlight once again turn into acorns. But something that can happen is that if they turn into acorns, it would actually prevent them from using their skill, right? And then also apply that 10% defense reduction, which I honestly feel like is not like horrible at all uh, even though it's going to be random uh, if it is going to be applied to 
the uh, DPS is not bad at all. And you can see right there again, uh, Hollowberry turned into Acorn. And because of the fact that it is going to be a 10 second cooldown, you're going to be able to use it for a very, uh, you know, uh, often right here. And again, they turn into Acorn, Prophet's dead. Uh, it's it's a little bit shorter than uh, two seconds this time around because of the fact that BTS is there. Uh, but you guys can see that it actually works out, all right? It actually works out, and we were able to defeat this team uh, with a level one special treasure. All right, guys, just to see one more battle, we're going to be going up against a Grandmaster 2 team this time around with the double tank, double DPS. And uh, yeah, let's see how well this acorn actually works out. And once again, guys, I am not too sure, okay, if this treasure is going to stop the cooldown of the enemies. However, one good thing is that because of the fact that it is going to be a two second charge time, you were able to see that Capsaicin was actually turned into an acorn quickly and prevented Capsaicin from actually using his skill uh, first. All right, so he took a little bit uh, time to actually come forward and actually cast his spell onto uh, our, our cookies here. So there is a little bit of a perk, I would say. But of course, once again, uh, a team that is well built. And they also have a full, uh, you know, uh, team with uh, Whistle as well as the Scroll. It is yeah, not going to be the best thing, all right? Uh, of course, it can work out if your stats are super, super good. Uh, it can work out. But again, right, it's random. You never want to use something that's very random into the arena because you just never know what's going to be happening and which of the enemies are actually going to be turning into the acorn. So, uh, yeah, because of the fact that we don't know if this skill cooldown actually decreases or not while they're acorn, once again, um, yeah, probably not going to be something that I recommend, but I would say still, it's not too bad. But once again, guys, I really feel like it is something that you can probably take advantage of uh, for fun if you guys uh, ever decide to do so. Uh, it's super, super uh, funny to see that enemies are turning into acorns and just standing still pretty much for two seconds until they uh, pretty much get out of that uh, state. And on top of that, they do take extra damage uh, that is going to be 15% of the total attack, which is not a lot, but still going to, uh, uh, you know, do some damage. And on top of that, there is that defense reduction uh, that is going to be applied for a total of 10 seconds. Of course, this is actually going to increase uh, the higher the level is going to be. Uh, but as of right now, it is still level 1 and uh, around level 12, I think, because of the fact that it is increasing by 0.9%. Uh, uh, if we do that total, uh, then it will be around, uh, I would say, 20%. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, and maybe if you ever get lucky and get it up to level 12, Maybe you guys can try it out for yourselves inside of the arena. But there you guys go. Just wanted to quickly uh, review this little fun treasure uh, that has been added with the squirrel shop. Hope you guys found the video helpful as well as enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.